I think it might be quite important to recognise that um, you can't expect family breakdown to be pain-free. I get a lot of letters from people asking me, you know, how can I do this so that it doesn't affect my children at all? And the answer is, to a certain extent, you can't. It's the worst thing that can ever happen to a child to have their parents break up. What you can do, however, is make sure that they are supported as much as possible, that they realise it is not their fault. I think that's the most damaging thing that can happen to a child, to be left feeling, I should have done something or I shouldn't have done something um, to stop this happening. So as long as they know very firmly that it's nothing to do with them, it's not their fault, and that their parents both still love them and are going to be there for them. That this is something between the two of you, and you have your argument separately, but you're going to be there for them. And then it's about really finding help and support. Um, children have their own social networks, their own support networks in their friends. They need to be able to keep those support networks going. Sometimes when a family breaks up, um, you may want to move house. And of course, that means that you're severing the connection that children have with their support network. Quite important to recognise that that may be something you need to keep going. Family members can be there for them. Very important to prime other members of the family from both sides to be there and not to take the side of a parent, not to make this an argument, not to feel that the best thing they can do is to say, oh, that one's horrible and you know this one's all okay, but to feel that they're just there to support that child and love them. Grandparents particularly, from both sides, are really important to a child. Important perhaps to let the school know what's happening. Um, I know it's very easy for parents to feel that you know, they're ashamed of this, they don't really want it to be a public debate, but schools need to know that there are problems going on in a, in, a, in a child's background so that they can understand if the child behaves badly because they're acting out their pain and their anger and can support them instead of punishing them. So ask for the support that is there. It is there. It's there for you and it is there for your child. And see this as a process. It's going to take a bit of time for, it, for these things to happen, for that support to kick in, for children and for yourselves to get over the pain and anger of what's happening, but that if you do focus on it, if you do ask for help, if you do talk it through, communicate with each other, you're going to get there.